The Western Conference final tied two games apiece. Coverage rolling on from Bakersfield. Mike Benton with you and joining us now, Aces head coach Rob Murray. Rob, you thought about here the meaning of this game and how to translate it here for the guys this evening? Well, I think after winning last night, um, you know, it, it really puts us in a position to take a, a real strong hold of the, on this series. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough game for both teams. I mean, three games and three nights like this and, and at the, this point of the season, I mean, it's very taxing. And, uh, you know, we gotta, we got to make sure to come out and play strong and, and hopefully we can get off to a good start like we did last night. I thought a great thing that Louis Mass, in the papers it was written, he brought up with the entire team yesterday. You really can't go through a successful playoff run without encouraging a few bumps, a few hills, and overcoming them. What do you make of that? Well, exactly. I mean, you know, it's the first two series we were kind of really, uh, for the most part, we rolled through. Um, and then, um, you know, now now there's a little adversity. And uh, it's that's the way playoffs are. I mean, you're not going to be able to roll all the way through and, and uh, just sweep everybody. So, you know, it's it, it's a time where it, it's uh, maybe uncharted waters for us going into last night's game. But I think now that, uh, you know, we've been put in that position and we rose to the occasion, I think we're better for it. And speaking of uh, last night in similar tone, in getting ready for that game 24 hours ago, the Aces came out with three goals in the first four minutes and six seconds. What did that tell you about the team's leadership? Well, I think obviously the way it was done through uh, Nick Mazzolini, um, you know, the way he took the bull by the horns last night, um, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, I mentioned we executed plays that uh, maybe the prior night we weren't weren't necessarily executing as well. And, and um, you know, uh, it was kind of that thing. It was just momentum, and and uh, got them on their heels. Uh, very similar to the night before, where you know they got the first goal, and we kind of just you know went into a shell and and weren't able to respond. And we, it was kind of like how they were last night. And and um, you know I think very similarly too that uh, we had a couple of good looks to make it four nothing. And Brassois made a couple of big saves on the penalty kill, and uh, kept it at three nothing at the time, uh, just like Wazi did the night before. So um, you know it was similar games, just. Uh, uh, flip teams. First period, do you look for more from this team or more of the same? Well, I would hope that we come out again strong and, and um, you know, to ask them, ask for what happened last night is probably um, not going to happen, but uh, sure would be nice. So, uh, we'll, you know, we'll do our best and, and uh, you know, it's going to, we got to expect it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be a, t a game again, as I mentioned um, at the beginning of the interview, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be tired bodies out there. You know, three games and three nights at, at this level of play, um, this intensity, uh, it, takes a, it takes a toll on the body. And so we'll see who's got, uh, who's got more in the tank. Got to take you back here to the 1980s New York Islanders here. And Wayne Gretzky walking by the room after the Islanders won the Cup and just seeing so many guys and trying to celebrate yet rest and try to recover from so many aches and pains. Well, and, and you know, that's the thing. I mean, we got, you know, we've got our share of guys that are playing with injuries. I know they must have a bunch of guys that are playing with injuries. So, you know, Tyson's b busy right now. I'm sure their guy's uh, busy right now, too. So we're patching these guys together to get them going tonight. Right, thanks, Rob. All right, Mike.